everyone. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're keeping safe. Hope you're keeping sane. Hope you uh, actually remember to put your microphone in front of you before you start talking. Um, yeah, it's been a little while, hasn't it? So uh, let me just explain quickly where I've been. Um, nowhere is the, the honest answer. Um, I went to sunny and very, very windy Skegness the weekend before last. You know, that weekend of the storm when it's an absolute perfect time to be buggering off to the uh, the coast here in England um, where the winds are sort of 70 80 miles an hour um, so that was a very pleasant thing um, hence the, the amazing tan I've got look at that that's, that's proper proper Skegness tan that um, and then last week was half term um, which meant I didn't really have the time the space the privacy to make too many videos so that's where i've been absolutely nowhere except the lincolnshire coast uh, enjoying the sights and sounds of sunny butlins so there you go that's 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 me um i'm fine i'm safe i'm sane ish as much sane as you can be after a, a weekend surrounded by bubble guns and uh, screaming children um but i'm back now uh, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed everyone who's commented on the videos recently liked subscribed i've done all that sort of good stuff right all the stuff that the uh, the, the proper youtubers ask you to do um so i feel it's my uh, my duty to do the same um and thank you to those people who keep asking questions it's, it's really good to get your questions and i'm actually thinking of putting together another q a video um the last one was well received people seem to like the fact that i was actually uh, answering the, the questions that you guys wanted answers to so uh yeah that's kind of the the, the plan um is doing another q a and due course so what i'll say as i always do is pop your questions in the description of or sorry in the comment section of this video and then uh, that kind of keeps them all together um i've already flagged up a few from from you guys um which i'll try and include in the q a but uh, yeah i'll probably do that maybe the end of this week uh, possibly next week but Look, what I want to talk about today is the things I actually miss about gambling. Now, it sounds like a bit of a weird topic for me to be discussing. So let me kind of quantify a little bit. The expected answer, what you'd expect me to say is nothing. I don't miss anything about gambling at all. My life is infinitely better without it. And that is true. Uh, my life is almost undoubtedly better without gambling. But you know, it would be totally remiss and disingenuous of me to say that there aren't elements of the gambling lifestyle that I miss. So watch the, to the end of this video to, to sort of understand what I'm on about. I have a lot of um, happy, maybe not really the right term, but pleasurable memories associated with gambling. Nights at the casino, trips away with my mates when we used to go and play the fruit machines and go here, there and everywhere and do all the rest of it. Okay, a lot of happy memories, not memories of poker nights, memories of um, sitting down in the, the afternoon with a couple of mates, you know, watching Jeff Stelling and the boys on Sky Sports with your, your betting slips in front of you and marking them off and all the rest of it, right? Happy memories of doing all of that sort of thing. But, and here's the, the kicker, and I have touched on this before, my happy memories that I associate with gambling and I ask that, you know, maybe, maybe try and do this the same for, for yourself if you're a gambler and, and if you... You don't want to quit because you don't want to forego the, these, you know, these happy memories. The happy memories I have that I associate with gambling, most of the pleasure I have derived from those situations has been completely unrelated to the gambling, except that it was there at the time. You know, the time I went to the casinos is normally, or the races, or somewhere like that. It's normally on a stag do, in which case you're there, you're with your mates, you're having a laugh. You know, you're having a drink, you're just having a good time. You know, you're watching the racing and all the rest of it. In the casinos, you know, you're, you're there, you're enjoying the, the atmosphere, you're enjoying the, the people that you're with and a bit of a laugh. And the actual gambling, the betting of money with the, you know, the expected outcome of winning or losing is actually a very small part of the experience as a whole. Now, I will, in this instance, quantify that by saying if you are a gambler in recovery, it's probably best to give casinos a wide berth. But if we take another example you know when um this is going to be quite a, a niche one but i'm sure you can apply this in your own way to your own experiences when i used to go away um on uh, our gambling trips when we used to play the fruit machines in you know um arcades and service stations and bookies and got uh, bingo halls and all the rest of it right we used to travel the length and the breadth of the country on the motorways going to service stations in the middle of the night and you know going to all these random places staying in odd hotels and odd travel lodges and going to random dodgy pubs and you know all this sort of stuff getting trapped on the wrong side of a uh, motorway service station bridge was a particular highlight and trying to run across the um the m6 at three o'clock in the morning that was uh yeah that's a, a memory but right 
All of these things happened because I was gambling. However, the fondness I have for those times, the memories I have, were all more about the camaraderie, about the, the, the basically three or four mates being away, just having a laugh, just messing about and doing stupid stuff. Um, a lot of stuff I wouldn't recommend, but stupid stuff nonetheless. The gambling was the reason we were there, but the reason I remember it, the reason I hold those times in such high regard is because of the people I was with and because of the other things I was doing. The gambling was an aside. The gambling was the, you know, the gambling dictated where we went. The gambling dictated, you know, how we spent portions of the time because that was what was funding the trip. But the happy memories of the trip were because of other factors. They were just the, the, the for want of a better term, the banter. So if you think, you know, if you're someone who, for example, plays fruit machines in pubs, you know, the amount of happy memories you may have foregone, trust me, will, you know, far, far outweigh the memories, the positive memories you have from partaking. This is one of my own personal um, I guess regrets is if you want to you call it that. Um, well, I was that guy, and and most groups, particularly of men, um, women less so, but th there are some. Most groups of men, when they go out for a beer to the pub or to the pub around the pubs in town or whatever, most groups of men have that one person who is the gambler, who is the fruit machine player. They are the person that will peel off from the group. You wonder where they've gone for a minute, and then you'll spot them. They'll be in the corner, they're feeding their their money into the machine, and that would have been me. But I also know other groups of friends who've also got one of these people. And, you know, I see it at my local pub all the time. Groups of lads come in, they're all watching the football, having a laugh, having a drink. One of them buggers off to the fruit machine, doesn't return for an hour. And when he comes back, he's probably in a bit of a bad mood because he's invariably lost some money. And in that moment, he has lost that time with his friends. You know, and that would have been me. So whilst I have happy memories, and I think subconsciously I'm missing certain experiences because I'm not gambling I missed far far more experiences because I was gambling you know the time um, I was going to the races for a stag do most people were having a good time putting a couple of quid on a race having a laugh having a drink watching the horses and all the rest of it right and I was betting too big I was betting more you know for the gambling element than I was for the pleasure so whilst I had some happy memories associated with it I was missing out on a lot more of the human interaction, you know, the normal stuff that friends do on a stag do, because I was too absorbed in the gambling element of the racing. Yeah, sure, I remember it. Sure, I had a good time. But would I have had a far, far better time had I not been distracted by the outcome of the race because I actually had something tangible riding on it? People were betting. Of course they were. You know, that's what people do at the races. But they were able to do that to a level where it was not distracting them from actually the you know, main purpose of the occasion, which was just to get a load of friends together and have a laugh. So if I said there aren't times where I miss gambling, it would be a lie. However, I'm now in a position where I can make the most of the social time I have without the distraction of gambling. And one last thing on that thought. I go out now a lot more and watch sport, but I watch sport that I want to watch because I enjoy the games. And I can enjoy it as a neutral. And by neutral, I don't mean that I don't support either team. I don't have an interest in either team winning. So I can go out and I can watch a game of football and enjoy it for what it is without getting stressed as to what the halftime score, what the full-time score is, who the first goal scorer is. Because, again, I can enjoy it for what it is without the distractions of gambling. So when you think about all the good times you had gambling, all the positive memories you associate with this addiction, try and work out whether you're actually remembering it in a positive light because of the gambling, or whether the gambling just happened to be there, but maybe you would have had an even better time, and even a more fonder memory of the occasion, had that not distraction not been there. I've heard the same said for alcohol. You know, people have great happy memories attached to alcohol, but that's because alcohol is generally associated with, you know, celebrations. So you go to weddings, you go to Christmas parties, all these sorts of things, and alcohol is there, so you immediately associate alcohol with happy, pleasurable memories. However, would you have been more involved in the, situ in the occasion? Would you have actually had a better time and remembered more of it had the alcohol not been involved? But anyway... My experience, my opinion. 
it would be like I say at the start of this video the answer you'd expect me to give was I don't miss gambling at all but that would be a lie I do miss gambling but I think the reason I believe I miss gambling is because I miss some of the things that I associated with it that are no longer part of my life but hey that's growing up and getting old isn't it stay safe stay sane look after yourselves and I'll um yeah keep your questions coming I'll speak to you soon